guys, it's coffee time. And today, finally have achieved bed frame status. I am officially an adult with a bed that is off the floor where ants can't get me, fingers crossed. With the power of my roomies at my side, we created this beauty, which probably looks exactly the same, except that the bed has kind of rose a little bit. But up in that corner right there, you can kind of see some of the headboard. It's a thing. We built it. I'm feeling very good about it like it a lot. It's very sturdy. And I love watching the cat kind of try to climb under it. It's so funny. Because he's not sh I can't tell if he's not sure whether or not he's allowed to be there. For the most part, he doesn't care. If there's like an open space. On Let's see? Just popped out from over there. What are you doing? You having fun? Exploring new places? He's been going through a little bit of kitty anxiety, I think. He's been feistier than usual. I think it's because just everything keeps being shifted around and like it, it eventually goes back to where it was but you should have seen my room like a half an hour ago there was stuff everywhere because here's the part that's very sad to me this is very sad for me so forever ago and some of you guys might remember this i bought under the bed storage thingies very shallow long things to put Seasonal clothes and like jackets um, that I don't typically need here, but that I want to keep because I love them. Uh, I wanted to store them under my bed along with other things, but I never got the bed frame. And so now I have the bed frame. And when I went to Ikea, I even measured it. I was like, okay, I want to make sure that whatever I get will fit under the bed. So I buy this bed frame. And I love it, don't get me wrong, but it was so depressing to take these underbed storage thingies out of my closet and be like, oh my gosh, look at all that free space in my closet. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to consolidate things in spaces and to have things overlapping so that I have more room. It's going to be amazing. They didn't fit. And my heart just popped out of my chest and ran off into the sunset. It was so sad. It's like, oh. Oh man, because I daydreamed, guys, I daydreamed so hard about making this bed frame, putting these thingies under the bed, and then rearranging my entire closet and having it just be so beautiful that my eyes could not even gaze upon it. I wanted so badly for this to happen today, and it kind of did. I did it to an extent, but... It was kind of like, all right, I guess I'll, I'll take these storage bins because I, my heart was set on it. I'll take these storage bins, I'll set them kind of off to the side, and then I'll try to do some of what I was planning on doing anyway, which I'm kind of glad that I did because now I can see where sometimes my logic wasn't really working out. Um, and I think that it's going to be fine. I think that it's going to be good. Like, my hamper is in my closet now, which is so nice because it's an eyesore. When it was right there, it was like, oh, there are clothes everywhere. And then sometimes I had it right here. And then, you know, every time I needed to get out of my room, it was like, well, hope I don't trip on a tie. I don't know. So now all that's in there. It's wonderful. And I'm smelling... Any of you who don't have cats, this is going to be gross sounding. I keep smelling like phantom cat pee. So I grabbed, I have like my one keychain that is all cat things. It's like the laser pointer and a little black light and a couple other things. And I was like, all right, I'm going to take my black light and I'm going to look around and see if I can find the can this phantom cat pee that I can't like, you know, you get like a tiny whiff of it. And then you're like, where is that? And you just keep like sniffing things, but nothing actually smells like it. So I grabbed the black light keychain and it's dead, which I don't understand because I have used it once. It's like, why are you dead? What happened to you? So I like, I tried to like flex it around in case the battery was loose or something. Nothing happened. I don't know. I don't know. My heart. Ugh. We're doing a lot of filming here today. It was really fun. I wasn't feeling very good. Um, I was supposed to go uh, for Women of Geekdom. I was supposed to do another kind of get-together sort of thing and, and hand out calendars and do a meet-and-greet and all that. Um, and I wound up just like, I couldn't. <laughs> I just straight up 
couldn't do it, but there was a lot of filming going on at the house, so I kind of, like, helped out with some of that, um, and worked on spreadsheets and <sighs> watched da 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 I'm finally watching it. Any of you who know anime at all, if you've ever watched da 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 I'm watching it for the first time. I'm on episode... Crunchyroll, come to me. Ten. Oh, I'm doing all right. Wait, how many episodes are in this? Hold on. Da da da. Twenty-five. There are twenty-five episodes. And Tara saw it. I'm doing all right. I didn't think that I was that far in, but it's so weird. It's it's very weird. Jared Frodo came into my room, and while I had like an episode playing, and he was like, "What is this? What is this about?" It's like I. You know, I don't know. <laughs> he was like, you've watched like a few episodes. I was like, Jared, don't act like you haven't watched an anime where nothing made sense. He was like, true. <laughs> it's very character driven. You meet all these characters and you're like, God, all these people are so weird. And then like you find out backstories and you find out who knows who and what their relationships are. And you're just like, oh, oh, oh there's so many things happening. So I'm enjoying it right now. But I'm waiting for the moment, and maybe it'll be like Napoleon Dynamite, and it'll just never happen. But I'm waiting for the moment when I go, oh, I see where this story intersects and becomes a thing. But as of episode 10, that hasn't happened yet, so we'll see. What else? What else is going on? Not really anything. Mm. I'm like literally just trying to think. What else? What else is going on? Not much because my brain was so focused on maybe I'll be able to make my bed frame today. Wouldn't that be amazing? And then I can restructure my entire room. Do you see that poster right there? That's like my new favorite poster. And the, at the bottom, I got the very last one. I was so proud when I uh, when I saw. I actually found it through Tumblr. Somebody was like, "Oh, there's only one left of this poster." My friend's trying to sell it, whatever. And uh, in the little orange space, it says "Super Boobs" in tiny letters, and then it just has all of these different superhero, like female superheroes, like what their chests look like. It's so funny. I don't know why I love it so much, and I realize that it's like tiny bit inappropriate <laughs> but I'm just like ah oh, it's so funny I just loved it so I was like there's only one left and they're pretty cheap I'm gonna get it I'm gonna put it up on my wall immediately which I did because um the poster that I had there before was so glary it uh it reflected all over the place and I don't know if it just had too many weird creases in it but I hate that one for the most part your posters like if you if you gaze upon the dexterity bonus poster and the witcher poster, they don't they don't reflect things really. This one reflects because the light is right on it, but it doesn't have a bunch of weird creases on it. It doesn't look crazy. I don't know. I'm trying I'm trying to make it make sense and maybe it doesn't make sense at all, but uh Huh. I still need to see the new James Bond movie. I just realized I haven't seen it. <sighs> uh, I need to put my heads away, too. Do you want to see how lately I've stored my wig heads? <laughs> I just have, like, a big bag filled with faces. Uh, those need to go back up there. Those need to find a home once again. Because uh, they take up a lot of space. If you don't have a place for heads, guys, if ever you go to a thrift store, or if ever you are at some sort of a sale, there's a crazy lady there who says, Hey, if you want any of these heads, they're only 25 cents. If you're me, you buy all of them at once and then go, What have I done? But if you're a smart person, you go, that's a good deal. How many of those do I have space for? <laughs> I should have done that.
but I didn't. But at the time that I got them, I had a lot of room up above. I don't have any room up above here except for where the shelf is, so I don't know, guys. Hmm. That's my day. I'm jacked about the bed frame. Don't get me wrong. It's great. You just have to get different thingies for under the bed, and that kind of blurs. I don't like that at all. But oh well. I hope you guys had a good day. And uh, I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.